it's about how we can affect and impact people in this world. What else do we have in life? My dad worked at a manufacturer, Kelly Springfield Tire Company, and my mom was a stay-at-home mama. And it was up in the mountains, up in the sticks, in a small little town. You know, I didn't really realize that we weren't very well off, but uh, we had to, you know, hunt, fish. I just didn't know we were kind of poor because there was just so much love in the house, so much love in the community, and we all just band together and took care of each other. I used to pick tomatoes out of my dad's garden and go around the neighborhood and sell them for nickel, dime, quarter, whatever. And so I ended up doing pretty well until we ran out of tomatoes and I was little at the time so I didn't realize that something was wrong because I ended up going to my neighbor's house and picking his tomatoes and I was doing pretty good with that until one of my buddies uh, took over my route and he ended up trying to sell tomatoes to my neighbor and my neighbor found out why he was missing tomatoes. <laughs> my dad coached or actually he started every league according to my age. I had no other choice but be you know, one of the best athletes. It was just, that's all we did. I guess that led into my life of kind of wanting to win all the time. I started my own mortgage brokerage company in the DC area around 1988, I think it was. I thought I was doing pretty well. I was fairly successful at it. And then uh, the mortgage crisis hit and that was like one of the worst days of my life having to lay off you know, underwriters, appraisers, receptionists that I'd known for years. At that time, I had a lot of, a lot of office space rented in the D.C. area that uh, I had to pay for on long-term leases with my dad's southern, southern gentleman type style. Um, I just couldn't file bankruptcy because, you know, I signed that lease to pay the rent, and so for. About three to five years, I was paying almost ten to fifteen thousand a month in rent, and they were vacant offices. After I had to shut down my mortgage company, I started so many prepaid legals, the Amways. Didn't have a job for a couple of years, so I mean, I had different. You know, we started different businesses. Remember, we had a gumball machine. Oh yeah. yes, I that, helped, like that helped you all pay go through college. Yeah, I totally didn't make any money for about three, four years, and it totally drained my entire retirement, my savings of a lifetime. When I got in the insurance business, I just thought it was another network marketing type of project, something like that. But then that's kind of really where I found my passion in life because, you know, when I was in the mortgage business, I, I thought I was helping people, but it, it was just a business to make money, to provide for my family. But when I got into the insurance business, that's when I knew that it's a more of a fulfillment. One of my first clients passed away and I had to deliver a death claim to his wife and it changed my life. I still remember uh, going back, delivering the check back then to Tina. The $250,000 check that I gave her was everything she had to live on for the rest of her life. When I got out to the truck that night, I just, I sat there and cried for about an hour realizing that I can only protect about 10, 20 families a month. I wanted to protect 100 people a month. And now it's amazing that my team now does three, 4,000 families a month. When, when my son said he wanted to work with me, I, I first said no. I said, go get a job first and learn how, what life's about. And he just laughed at me, he says, Dad, I'm, I'm only working for myself. I'm never gonna work for somebody else. And that's, that's so warming to my heart to have my son, my son-in-law, my daughter in this business. It's, I just can't believe I get paid to do this. It's, it's a lifestyle that I could never imagine before in my life that I'm now having. You know, when everybody comes here, we're out on the boats, the jet skis, we're fishing, you know, we're swimming in the pool, we're playing ping pong. So I don't think I'll ever retire from this business. You know, it becomes me. It becomes my passion. I've never felt like I've worked a day in my life here. 
maybe the first two two years I did, but since then, it is, I, I, I don't work. I just, it's my lifestyle. I like feeling that I made a difference in the world of just hanging out with people, talking to people, and that's all we do is get together, associate, and have fun and get things done.